And happening now, Valley School District having trouble filling openings in their teaching ranks, especially substitutes. Channel 5 Stephanie Rosales spoke with two districts about what they're still looking for and why they're having such a hard time. She joins us now live with the details. I'm outside of the Brownsville ISD administration building and today I spoke with BISD and South Texas ISD still having a hard time filling their teacher roles even after holding a job fair earlier this month unfortunately are still fell short and are having a hard time filling specific and crucial roles. Brownsville ISD making efforts to try to recruit more staff to fill some of their open positions. Mary Solis, principal for Porter Early College High School, you know says she knew she needed to hire for certain roles before the start of the school year, but she didn't want to overhire. We were a little bit not hesitant, but careful because we didn't want to hire a lot of people for these vacancies. And then worst case scenario, the students would not show up after COVID. BISD is currently looking for special education teachers and substitute teachers. Patrick Hams, the chief organizer for Brownsville Educators Stand Together, says schools are short staffed because teachers are afraid to return to the classroom for two reasons, the ongoing pandemic and a lack of pay. Teachers want to teach, okay? And what happens statewide uh, and, and here in the Valley is there too, too much uh, excessive, redundant, and repetitive paperwork uh, and too many unnecessary meetings that take up the teacher time. Ham says a few years ago there were over a thousand substitutes available. Last year, still more than 500. This year it's about 280. And so when you're pulling out for trainings or you have people that are absent, they're just there's just not enough people to fill their places. As for pay, BISD says they have increased their teacher salaries since last year. Now they make a minimum of 48,500 a year. And Soli says her school is working with retired teachers to get them to help substitute. It's a win-win because um, they, uh, they know the school, they know the community, they know our students, and it's, you know, it would be like an easy transition. Texas ISD tells me they're also looking for special education teachers and teacher aides. BISD says they're also working with universities to recruit students for the fall to who are graduating in fall. Both districts are thinking of holding another job fair in spring 2020, 2022. Live in Brownsville, Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News at 6.